Hello, yeah. folks. Good to have you with us. And we've got a really good Facebook Friday today as Sarah Prater, our longtime friend from Tennessee Center for Reproductive Acupuncture, is here. She's going to educate us about reproductive acupuncture, which a lot of you are interested in. And by the way, Sarah, I, I think you're prepared for this. Okay. But if somebody has a question, they can chime in right now and ask you, right? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Now, now Megan, our very pregnant uh, nurse uh, is behind the camera today. So Megan, you're just gonna have to shout out and interrupt us if somebody does ask a question. Does that sound well, good? Most of her Got it. behind the camera. Most of her, well, <laughs> 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 right. the little guy, right. or girl, I guess it is, uh, is not behind the camera. That's a, that's a very good point. I didn't recognize that. <laughs> you help, let's start here. You help a lot of southeastern fertility and NADC patients. Yeah, yeah. It's you know, I've a um, little by background. I've been doing acupuncture since two thousand eight. I started doing fertility exclusively in two thousand eleven and since moving here, um, I've started seeing a ton of NADC people just for transfer. It's my favorite day to see people. It's so exciting. They're often coming from somewhere and it's just it's just so exciting, you know, and then it's like here's a picture of my embryo and it's just the best. It's just the best. So, we try to work people in. We're very flexible with scheduling, so you know, as you know, that can get kind of wild transfer week. So it is mm -hmm. a little wild yeah. sometimes, mm -hmm. isn't it? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We've gotten last minute. Oh, can you call so and so and have him come in now? Mm -hmm. And I've gotten those calls too. I just was told my transfers it too. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, they love you. They 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 love well, the good. experience with you. And by the way, if if you are an NEDC patient and you're coming from out of town and I want to do reproductive acupuncture, Sarah's really just I don't know what ten or fifteen minutes down the road yeah. on Ebenezer just, Road. Yeah, fifteen minutes down the road, right off Kingston Pike, just road right out here. Yes, so, the main road. Eight. Pretty much everything in Knoxville is off of Kingston Pike. <laughs> it, I mean, it, it, if if you don't know Knoxville, just Drive along Kingston Pike and you'll probably find it. That's that they it's down very, very easy to navigate. It's very true. Well uh, I guess we should just sort of talk about reproductive acupuncture, right? Linda, sort of get an introduction so, to what it is. How does it work? What, yeah. what, what do you actually do? So we do a lot of different things. So acupuncture is obviously five thousand years old. It was developed in China. And what's interesting about it and and in terms of my perspective, I have a Western medical background as well, mm -hmm. so I love the East meets West. Um, so working in fertility just is my dream job. But 5,000 years ago, they didn't know um, how conception works, right? They didn't know about viruses, they didn't know about bacteria, and so they've developed these patterns. So some of our diagnoses sound kind of weird, but my favorite thing is when things start to overlap. They're like, oh, well these herbs are actually really good for preventing bacteria growth in, in the sinuses, and we've used them for years for what we would call a damp heat infection, right? Yeah. So very interesting, so I love that. Um, and so we try to work integratively. So in terms of Western medicine, acupuncture can do a couple things. So first, increase blood flow. Mm -hmm. um, so there's been a lot of research showing that women with better blood flow to the uterus have better rates of implantation and live birth from IVF. So it's something that some clinics will check um, in patients or notice through the course of doing ultrasounds. Those mm -hmm. patients might have thin lining or history of field transfers, et cetera. Um, and so acupuncture does a great job of, of helping increase that blood flow. They can actually measure it with an ultrasound on the uterine arteries, which is pretty cool. That is cool. Yeah, and so um, the other thing you can do is help to regulate hormones. So for people with PCOS, for example, um, people who do acupuncture for a course of three or so months um, find that they have more regular ovulatory cycles and things. So it can help support the effects of clomid or letrozole or whatever you guys are doing here in the clinic as well. Um, and it reduces stress. And so I'm not saying, just to be perfectly clear, that stress causes infertility. Um, I think it's the other way around. Infertility causes stress, right? Um, and so my perspective on that, and I, I assume you guys will probably agree, is that for most people, they, they get pregnant eventually. It's just about getting the right treatment, the right embryo, the right medication dose, the, the right surgery, whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. and, and then obviously the right sperm and egg have to meet. So there's kind mm -hmm. of a little bit of magic there. So that marathon approach we try to say okay let's keep you as stress-free as possible so you can keep going on that process um, and then hope to get a baby in the end so that's that's kind of the main functions of acupuncture which is pretty cool and you guys have really um you you've expanded you're not just in knoxville now you're also in maryville right um we have a i own a clinic in maryville it doesn't do fertility necessarily okay, okay. um but some of the people that have worked there have covered my own maternity leave when um, I was in your state, um, and so they're pretty experienced as well. They don't have as good of availability for the 
constant schedule changes that go with fertility. Um, so some that can be tougher, but occasionally we'll work with patients down there if it makes sense for schedule. So yeah, feel free to reach out and we can kind of make those adjustments. So yeah. So what do these needles look like? So I imagine there's yes. long things sticking out of Well, you know, I will say that acupuncture in the media is always portrayed in the most dramatic ways, right? So I, um, I can't imagine the media yeah. would do that. <laughs> uh, there's a terrible SNL skit. There's just anyways, it's very fun. Um, nothing like that, I promise. <laughs> um, years ago, I started getting phone calls, and people would ask, hey, I want fertility acupuncture, but do you put needles in my face? And I'm like, I finally asked somebody, I said, hey, excuse me, I just want to know where you're hearing this, because no, you know, maybe you've got some jaw tension, or there's something else going on, sure, but no, and apparently there was a Friends episode where one of the characters got fertility acupuncture, and of course had to run out of the studio with the needles, that, you know, it was a dread <laughs> nothing like that. <laughs> So, yeah, I no was, I'm glad I asked that question. I was like, I keep getting this question. Yeah, good thing you did. Yeah. All right, so let's look at the so needles. So these are needles. Get a close um, They're obviously all sterile, one-time use only needles. They're not very long. So if you have gone through anything here at this clinic, I promise you can do acupuncture. So, <laughs> you, you can know, stand in front of the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, but I can stand back there. Yeah. So let's go. see. So these, um, because they're so thin, so for the medical people out there, these are these are 40 gauge needles. Oh wow. Very, very thin. Oh. Um, and so they're thin because they don't have to deliver any medication. So I don't know if you can even see that. Let me put my hand behind it to give like a, mm -hmm. yeah. So they're yeah. actually flexible. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. Well, that looks cool. Yeah. Huh. I can go back for hours. <laughs> well, <I'll give> <laughs> um, and so they actually, um, because they're so floppy, you can't just put them in like you would a, a, an injection, right? So they come packaged in these little tubes. Um, and then, you know, we always swab the point with alcohol. So I'll needle myself real quick. If you guys okay. want to needle you, okay. I'll stick a needle in right there. And so we just go tap, tap. And that's it. And so they go in an eighth to a quarter of an inch, sometimes half inch in more meaty areas of the body, um, but they don't, you know, go in very deep. Huh. And that's it. So then we pull them out. Okay. No bleeding. Oh, you could have no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, You can really do move around sometimes, yeah. Um, and then these no obviously, blood? No, yeah, no bleeding. Occasionally you'll get a drop of blood, but it's nothing dramatic, like, you know, again, the SNL sketch. <laughs> <laughs> um, so but, basically what you're saying is don't get your information from the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Which I guess you guys probably give your patients that advice too. Um, but yeah, so acupuncture, you know, we really love the integrative approach, so that's something we take really seriously. We're always curious, okay, what's going on at the clinic? What was your lining check? What, what's your follicle scan look like? When's your retrieval plan? What's mm -hmm. this happening? How can we support you through this process? Okay. Um, yeah. And so we try to work really closely with the timing. Um, we follow a protocol for IVF specifically that's developed by reproductive endocrinologists who's actually married to an acupuncturist, and they've published oh. quite a bit of wow. research. Um, and so we follow their protocol, it's called the Credenda Magarelli Protocol, so Dr. Magarelli out in um, New York, I don't know if you've heard of him, he's, um, and they show better rates of pregnancy, better rates of uh, live birth, importantly, um, lower ectopic and miscarriage rates, um, which is That's a great awesome. thing. Yeah, because obviously yeah. a take home baby is the goal, right? So, exactly. Yeah. Is there anybody who's a particularly good candidate for this, or is this just a general, generally applicable to anybody? doing this sort of thing. It could be generally applicable. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think everybody going through this process has some kind of stress or side effect from medication, et cetera, um, and it can just support the results. So um, I'm gonna probably get these statistics wrong, but there was something like, you know, you could save 10% of money put towards IVF if everybody just did acupuncture, sort of on a global scale. So you yeah. can save money because if you're, yeah. You know, over like hundreds cycles? of patients, correct. So oh. if your rates go up just a little bit more, so like for the Paulus protocol, um, they had a 42% pregnancy rate versus I think a 26% pregnancy rate in the non-acupuncture group. So That's of those people who got pregnant, a little now. bit more, you know, more successful cycles, mm -hmm. that reduces obviously the mm -hmm. cost and savings to insurance companies, savings to patients in those cases. So wow. yeah, huh. so I think everybody's applicable. Um, some patients we get come and, you know, we always are encouraging them to go see reproductive endocrinologists because there are certain things we can't treat with fertility acupuncture. So if your tubes are blocked, for example, it's not going to be appropriate. Um, if somebody wants to try naturally and they're over 35, we 
always recommend, let's just get a knife reserve check. Let's just see where you're at mm -hmm. so you can make an educated decision. So um, I hate to treat somebody for six months and then find out they have ovarian failure, right? Right. Mm -hmm. um, and so we really try to be educated in our approach and try to, again, like let's get all the tools available so you can make the best decision for your care. Awesome. Um, some people don't like acupuncture, you know, just like everything, yeah. just like massage right. or whatever else. But most people <laughs> say that it's relaxing. Um, feels like a massage when you get up, you're ready to take a nap. So you have relaxing music and candles do, and everything yeah, in there. We try to be, not to, you know, put you under the bus here, but the opposite of fertility clinic in some ways. So, <laughs> a little warmer, That's, a little more comfy, we have sheets, right. you know, big padded tables. So, I know, you guys have need the tools to do your job, obviously. You, you were, that, that's, that, that's the nicest anybody has ever thrown me under the bus. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. You're a real talent. For, congratulations. Yeah, nice music, yeah, it smells good, you know, so we, we try to just make it um, not a triggering experience in that way, because sometimes coming here, can mm -hmm. be hard for people. It right? Sure, it can. Um, mm -hmm. you know, and I always tell patients the only way to go to the side is straight through. So you got to do that, but let's make this easier on you, right? So. Yeah, that's so, great. Yeah. Uh -huh. So your website? Yeah. So yeah. Tennessee Reproductive Acupuncture .com. You can book online. Um, feel free to email, call, however you want to reach us. Um, we try to be very available via email because I know it's hard for some patients to call and in the middle of a work day at yeah. work and say, hey, I'm, you know, um, so we try to be very available that way as well. So, mm -hmm. awesome. and if you have questions, we're always happy to help. Um, most of our patients have never had acupuncture before, so we try to take a lot of time and walk through that with people and make sure they're very comfortable, so. Well, I have to say the patients that we have had here that have talked to me about going to see you, have had nothing but good to say about you. Mm -hmm. They really good reviews mm -hmm. from our patients. And we have nothing but best. good things to say about exactly. Sarah. She's helped out at our NDDC uh, birthday yeah. party yeah. celebrations yeah. before, <laughs> and uh, just we've had a good, good relationship for a, a very long time. So, well, And the work you guys do is so important, you know, and, and just your approach and the treatments. I always tell people, you know, they offer a really patient-centered approach. So mm -hmm. they're not gonna, some people are afraid, I don't wanna go to the fertility clinic because they're just gonna put me on hormones. And I totally understand that. I'm right. an acupuncturist, obviously, right? right? So I get that. But I'm like, you know, you go in, you talk to Dr. Gordon, talk to Dr. Keenan, and I said, just tell them that. Tell them how you feel. And then if there are non-medicated options, or maybe you can get your testing and try for six months more. Maybe things are okay. Maybe you're just on the bad side of the averages, right? So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think that you guys do a good job here of saying, hey, I, I hear what you're saying. Let's work mm -hmm. with that. Or here's why we can't do that, but let's make sure you understand it and you're working with that. So, you know, we send folks all the time. So Our doctors are really good about listening to your story and mm -hmm. applying what's, you know, applying a plan that's, individually tailored right. to you you know right. it's not it, it, mm -hmm. it's certainly not a one-size-fits-all yeah. around mm -hmm. here you a lot know? of people feel like they get on the fertility mill you know right. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. right. that's not what you want no you don't well, this has been great. Great yeah, Facebook Friday. Exactly. Thank you, sir. I'm not no. as funny as Dr. Gordon, but I tried. <laughs> well, I so appreciate you coming. I, I, you know, I appreciate you not trying. Humor is okay. a terrible thing when it fails, and, <laughs> and I, I am well acquainted with that reality. Fair. <laughs> so, so on that note, uh, we will say, hey, have a great weekend. Uh, go UT versus UT Martin. I don't think the game will be quite as exciting as last weekend. Yeah. Uh, but I think 7-0 is looking pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to you all later. Take care. Happy Friday.